and I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen for another installment of Tarani Friday. Today I have a super delicious offering for you. We have a tiramisu white hot chocolate that contains the Tarani white chocolate, Tarani vanilla bean, and Tarani tiramisu syrup. It's uh, topped off with some freshly whipped cream and the Tarani white chocolate sauce for a garnish. This is sweet, it's light, it's delicious, it's rich, and it has just a hint of nutmeg because what holiday or winter beverage would be complete without a sprinkling of nutmeg? Let's go see how we make this delicious winter treat. I'm going to get started making this tiramisu white hot chocolate super easy. You're going to find yourself going back to this for treats all winter long. So what I have is two cups of cream and two cups of milk or you can use four cups of half and half. Um, this is going to serve four at least and um, we're talking about one cup servings at the most because this is going to be a sweet treat so we'll go from there. I have four ounces of a good quality white chocolate that I have chopped up very finely and that's four ounces by weight not by volume. And then we're going to talk about the Tarani. I have two ounces of Tarani white chocolate syrup. I have four ounces of Tarani tiramisu syrup, and I have two ounces of Tarani vanilla bean syrup. And we're also going to give this a sprinkling of nutmeg to bring that flavor just, it's going to go over the top. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pour my milk and my cream into my saucepan. And I'm going to go over to the stove and I'm going to bring this up to a heat. We're going to bring it up to a heat just until bubbles start to form around the edges. And when that happens, I'll bring you back. So I'll meet you back over at the stove when the milk is warm. Our milk has come up to temperature. It's not boiling, but you see what I mean when I say little bubbles are going to start to form around the edges of the pan? That's what I mean. Because that means, and it's steaming just a little bit. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to... Um, put our white chocolate in there and that's just a good quality white chocolate bar now whatever is your preference and I have chopped it up really fine so that it melts more easily in with the milk and we're just going to want to get that incorporated you'll be able to tell when that's happened because it will smooth out. You won't feel any lumps or anything in the bottom there. No, I'm not adding any additional sugar to this. So when you make like regular hot chocolate, sometimes you're going to add your chocolate bar and you're going to add cocoa um, or you're going to add cocoa and sugar. Now, I'm not doing the sugar at all because we're using the Tarani in place of the sugar because the Tarani is liquid sugar. So when you make um, a recipe like this, a regular cocoa, you probably add a cup of sugar. And today we're adding a total of a cup of Tarani syrup. So there went the white chocolate syrup. Here's the tiramisu syrup. And my husband's getting ready to say something to me. I need a bigger pot. And there is the vanilla bean syrup. Give that a good stir. And this is the color. It's going to turn a nice ivory color. And I can feel that it's nice and smooth. I'm going to turn my burner off. I turned it down to a lower setting after the milk came up to temperature. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this with about a quarter teaspoon of freshly ground nutmeg. You don't want to go too heavy on that nutmeg because if you go too heavy on it, it's going to taste soapy. That's just my experience. Mm -hmm. Nutmeg is great in moderation, but it takes a very little uh, of it to do what it's supposed to do. So I guess a little does go a really long way. Okay, I'm going to very carefully carry this over to the counter, and I'll meet you over there, and we will pour you a delicious cup of tiramisu white hot chocolate. All right, I forgot. I want you to add a pinch, like a quarter of a teaspoon for this um, number of servings of salt, because everything sweet needs a little salt. We've ladled you up a cup or so of this delicious 
tiramisu white hot chocolate. I gotta tell you, we did take a sneak peek. It's really good. Sneak taste. A sneak taste. We are going to top this with some whipped cream. Just like that. And I'm going to use the Tirani white chocolate sauce. Which is dripping on me, but that's okay. Just like that. And because I want to, I'm just going to give this another grate or two of nutmeg. How beautiful is that? All right, there you have it. A delicious mug of the Tirani Tiramisu White Hot Chocolate. This was so easy to make. And if you have the syrup and the flavorings, uh, it's super easy to make just whenever you want. You can make a lot of it with these bottles. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to taste it. I just want you to see how beautiful it is. I mean, this would be a lovely offering. You make a big pot of it, keep it in your crock pot for a party. Mm -hmm. I think this would be a lovely offering for a Christmas caroling party or a New Year's Eve party. Just another something that you can offer your guests. Uh, I think they're really going to love it. I'm going to taste it and then Rick's going to taste it. Oh my land. It's so creamy and delicious. It's not overly sweet, believe it or not. It's just really beautiful and creamy and rich, and you can get the hints of all those flavors in there. The tiramisu really, what do you think? Mm, yeah, that's pretty good. It's so good. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so good. Mm. Mm. You're going to love this. Your kids are going to love it. Everybody's going to love it. Like I said, I think it'd be great for a holiday party or just because you want it. You don't have to make as much as I did. I like to do a recipe that makes enough for four servings. You can make one serving. It doesn't matter. You can make this, you know, for one. If you're going to do that, you do a half a cup of milk, a half a cup of cream, or one cup of half and half. And then you're going to do um, a tablespoon of each one of these syrups. And you're going to do one ounce of the white chocolate. You're going to mix that up and then you'll be good to go. So, I hope that you give this a try. I would like to say thank you to the folks at Tarani. When I reached out to them um, a couple of weeks back, I said, I would love it if you could partner with me for my holiday videos. And they said, we would love to do that. Send us a list of what you would like to work with. And they sent me everything I asked for. And I would really like to say thank you to them for that, for their generosity and for working with me on this. I would like to say thank you to my viewers and my audience and my subscribers, all of you. You're important to me. And I thank you for being there. And I thank you for participating with me because without you, this channel is nothing. So I want you to know how important you are to me and say thank you very much to you. So I'm raising my glass to my subscribers and to the good folks at Tarani. And I'm saying thank you and let's have an amazing holiday season. I have so much more left to come and share with you. I can't wait for you. So come along on this ride with me. And until next time, I'll see ya. Joining me in my kitchen today. I hope you like what you watch today, and I hope that you try it, and I hope that you love it. Um, if you like what you saw, please consider hitting the thumbs up button and giving me a positive rating. And also, make sure that you hit the subscribe button if you're already not a subscriber so that you don't miss out on any of the fun we have here in our kitchen every single day. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm really glad that you're here. Thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to come by tomorrow. Until next time, happy eating!